the directory feature in Word Mail Merge merges data into a single document. You can use any access table or query as the data source for the mail merge. Right click on the table you want to use as the data source. Click on export. Select word merge from the shortcut menu or click on word merge in the external data tab. Microsoft Word mail merge wizard opens. You can select whether you want the wizard to link your address data into an existing Word document or to start with a new blank document. Select create a new document and then link data to it. Click on OK. Word starts and displays the mailings tab and the mail merge pane. In the mail merge pane, at the top is the heading describing the action in that step. Below you can see which step you are currently on and total number of steps. Work through the wizard steps by clicking on the next and previous links at the bottom. Now you are on the first step, select document type, select directory. Click on next starting document to go to the next step. Use the current document is pre-selected. Leave it as it is. Click on next select recipients. You don't need to select the recipient list. Recipient list was determined when you selected the table in access. You can fine tune the list by clicking on edit recipient list. You can remove individual recipients from the merge by deselecting the checkboxes. You can apply filters or sort the list so that data appears in that order in the directory. Click on OK. Click on Next, Arrange your directory. Type the text you want to repeat for each item in the directory such as name or address for individual records. Click in the document where you want to put a merge field and click on more items. Insert first name and last name. Click on address block. Word gives a preview of how the address block looks. See that the state is not shown. Click on match fields. You can see that the state field is not matched. This happens when you use field names that Word does not recognize. Now select the matching field from the drop down list and click on OK. Now you can see the state in the address block. Click on OK. Word inserts a placeholder for the address block. If you want to add phone number, type phone number and then click on more items. Select business phone to insert the phone number. After you have completed the main document and inserted all the merge fields, click on preview results. If you need to edit, click on preview results to return to merge fields view now. All these commands are available in Mailings tab if you need to change anything after going through the wizard. Click on Next Preview Your Directory. Use the back and forward buttons to scroll through your data.
You can edit the recipient list by clicking on Edit Recipient List. Click on Exclude this recipient to not include the recipient in the directory. Click on Next to complete the merge. Click on to new document to merge all data to a single document. Select all and click on OK. In the new document, add text you only want printed once, such as headers, footers, column headings or any other text. Save or print the directory just like any regular document. When you save the mail merge document, it stays connected to your mailing list for future use. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.